two-minute warning. Good morning, Giants Nation. This is Marco, co-host of the Bleed Big Blue podcast. It's Tuesday morning. The Giants are 1-5, and five, and this team has me puzzled. But we'll get into that in a minute. If you're new here or just listening for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. We do a live podcast every Wednesday night around 10 o'clock. Um, we put that out on YouTube, Periscope, Facebook, and many more. A link to those social media outlets are in the description. So please, if you haven't done so, like I said earlier, subscribe, like, follow, whatever it is. Now let's talk about the Giants. First, we have a team of all pros, talented veterans, all world wide receivers, a veteran quarterback who has won prior, and we're talking Super Bowl or bust. And that team goes 0-5. Then we have a team People playing out of position, shuffling offensive linemen, no running game, no name wide receivers, and they pull up a big upset with an injury plagued roster. It's so difficult to get a read. Are we the 0-5 team that looked really shitty? Or are we the team last night, excuse me, Sunday night, who came up big? While we were 0-5, there were questions, should we trade Eli while we have the opportunity? Should we tank? Should we hand over the play calling to Mike Sullivan? Well, one of those things happened. McAdoo actually handed over the play calling last week, and I think it was beneficial. It was probably a good move on his part, and it came at a good time. If it went well, uh, you have where we are today. If it went poorly, you could say that we didn't have the talent and it wasn't the play calling due to all the injuries and so forth. I think Sullivan sticking to the run was was pretty big because we actually ran the ball and got yards, which is something we haven't seen in five weeks. Maybe, just maybe, we rely on Odell too much and that we should stick with the run. And keep trying it instead of looking for the home run all the time. Other than that, nothing has really changed. This team is still 1-5. And and if you are even thinking about playoffs or trying to win the NFC East, it is going to be a difficult, difficult, difficult road. We basically have taken it out of our hands. It's not impossible, but it was way difficult. So I don't know what this team is going to wind up being at the end of 2017, 2018. I don't know what it's going to look like. But uh, let me know what you think. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Like, share, do all those good things. And subscribe if you haven't done so already because I told you to do so earlier. I'll talk to everyone later on in the week. And peace out.